Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on my channel, Meg's Movies. If you are new to this channel, this is basically where I talk to you guys about my passion for movies. This goes from collections, hauls, reviews, and to today's video, so let's get into it. Okay, so I've been meaning to do this video for a while, and I'm finally going to show you guys my 4K collection. So this is all the movies I own in 4K. I'm going to do it in section by section just because I've already got this all al alphabetical, uh, in alphabetical order. I cannot speak today. Um, so I'm just going to pull them out section by section and then I'm just going to put them back up as we go along. Just because I like to be organised. But yeah, so let's get into showing you guys my 4K collection. Okay, so starting off with this first little section, I'm just going to very quickly show you guys what I've got. I'm not including the steel books because I'm going to redo my steel book collection video. I did do one earlier this year. Um, however, there was a couple of steel books that was missing from this because I forgot I gave them to people to borrow. And <laughs> they've come back now, so I'll redo that one. Um, but yeah, so that'll be separate. So let's get into it. So what ones do I own on 4K? I own Deadpool 2. This is like the really big edition. I got it from CEA. It's pretty cheap, actually. I just need to get Deadpool 1 on 4K. But yeah, so this comes with Deadpool 2 Super Duper Cut on Blu-ray, then the standard version on Blu-ray, then the Super Duper Cut on 4K, then the standard version on 4K as well. Plain discs, which is a bit sad, but, you know, such is life. Not all discs are going to have artwork. Then I have the Dark Knight trilogy. So this is Batman Begins, The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. So I got this in CEX for a fairly good price. So I thought, why not? Apologies for the light reflection. But yeah, so that is the Batman films. I do need to do a Batman ranking at some point. Because I know we're not going to get a Batman film, at least for a little while. So I might start getting work on that at some point. Then I have Coming to America. I do have the second one, but it's just on Blu-ray. Um, but I still need to watch this one fully because I keep nodding off when I watch it. <laughs> Not my fault, I get comfy on the sofa. Then I have some Disney ones here next, and that is Big Hero 6. One of my favourite films from Disney. I love Baymax, he is just so adorable. As you can see, most of these have got slipcovers. <laughs> Then I have Beauty and the Beast, this is the animated one. I am trying to collect all the Disney films in 4K, whether that's live action or animation. So as of right now, I've got a couple of the animation ones. Then I have The Batman. This is the Robert, pa Robert Patterson version. Then I have Batman v Superman. This is the Ultimate, yeah, Ultimate Edition. So really cool 4K. Then I have Batman Forever. I was trying to collect these nice slip covers, but I just kind of fallen behind with that. <laughs> I also have Baby Driver. If you have not seen this film, I recommend this film. This is a really good film. I haven't watched this in ages. I do need to give it a rewatch because when I first watched it, I was obsessed with the soundtrack. And you'll understand why I was obsessed with the soundtrack if you watch the film. Then I have my Avengers films, so I'll show them very quickly to you. So I have Avengers Endgame, that is like one of my favourite slips. I love this. Then I have Avengers Infinity War. Avengers Age of Ultron. And Avengers Assemble. Then I've got the last two for this little shelf here. I have the Amazing Spider-Man 2 film collection. Um, I just need to get the Spider-Man original trilogy 4K set with this kind of slip cover because I like to have things matching. I can't help it. It's an addiction. It's real. <laughs> um, so I will eventually pick that trilogy up. Then I also have Aladdin. This is the animated one. So I think I'm collecting the Disney animated films first before I go live action. So... Yeah. <laughs> and then I have a couple of special edition ones that I'll quickly show off here. So I have this special special edition of Labyrinth. This is basically 
the book from the film, which I absolutely love when it's a prop from a film. And there we go. So it's got some like bits in there, sort of like behind the scenes and pictures. So of course, when this came out, I had to get it. There's no way I was not going to have this in my collection. Now you're going to see me struggle to put a slip cover case on. It's great. There we go. <laughs> then I have this special edition Gremlins 4K set. This was in my local CEX for like £6. And I was like, I have to have it. It is in such good condition. But yeah, so there is the 4K. Then it come with an art, uh, with a book. And then it come with some postcards as well and a poster, which I absolutely love. So there we go. So it comes with some little photos. I actually got to meet him in person and got a signature and a photo with him. Still can't believe he was the first celebrity I ever got to meet in person. And then I need to get this framed, actually. And then you get the original poster artwork. Oh, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. What can I say? So, yeah, I thought, because this is all in such good condition, I was like, I had to pick it up. And it's a really cool box set as well. This is the only issue when you get special edition sets and you show them off on a video. You then have to try and put everything back. So there might be a quick cut scene, <laughs> as they say, whilst I try and get everything back in. I still haven't seen this in 4K, so I need to give this a watch. Oh, and if you want my thoughts on the TV programme that we're supposed to be getting, I think it's supposed to be coming out this month on max i'm not sure how i feel about it i've looked at the animation i honestly don't know how i feel about it if it shows in the uk i'll watch it but if it doesn't yeah yeah <laughs> uh then my last special edition thing i have is beetlejuice on 4k this is the book of the dead of course i had to pick this up and then yeah again this comes with some nice little things so i have chalk <laughs> to draw on my door then the 4K with the slip, which I absolutely love. Then we got this little patch. Don't know if it'll focus. Is it focusing? Is it going to focus? There we go. And then you get the poster of Beetlejuice's thingy. His job role. And I ain't going to say his name again because he'll then appear. So I'm going to keep my mouth stum. Where did I hear that word stum? I've been saying that a lot recently. Stoom. So, yes, yeah, so and now I'm just going to grab the rest from over here and then I'll be right back. Okay, so on to the next row. So, this like, this is going backwards, but it's in all about alphabetical order, I promise. <laughs> I have the original Jumanji. I do need to get the other two on 4K at some point. In the Heights. I'm quite surprised I enjoyed this film. I'd watched the trailer for it. I weren't sure about it. Then I rented it on Prime. And I just love the soundtrack. In the Heights and Blackout are two of my favourite songs in this film. And I still haven't watched this in 4K, so I need to do that. Hook with Robin Williams. I grew up with this film. My sister used to really enjoy this film. I do need to give this a watch. This is another one I haven't watched in ages. Of course, I've got Hocus Pocus on 4K. <laughs> Why wouldn't I have it? I really like this 4K set. I think it's adorable. And I really hope we get Hocus Pocus 2 on physical media because I do not like the fact that I've got Hocus Pocus 1 there and then Hocus Pocus 2 online. I don't like that. <laughs> then next to our show together and that is Hitman's Bodyguard and Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. I really enjoy these films. I don't know if we're going to get a third one, but I'd be happy with just the two because they are really fun films. Then the next two I will show is Hellboy 2 and Hellboy. This is the original one, not the remake. Really annoyed that this didn't come with a slipcover, but that is fine. Not a problem. <sighs> um, but I also will add the remake to my collection at some point. I'm not in drastic need of it, but if I see it in like a CEX, I might pick it up. Um, then this is going to be weird to explain. So this is the 4K of The Greatest Showman. This come with my 4K player when I brought it because it let you pick a 4K film to come with it. But because it didn't come with a slip, I decided to use my Blu-ray cover one as the slip cover because I thought I love the slip cover for The Greatest Showman. So even though it says Blu-ray at the top, it is 4K. Then, of course, Grease. Of course, I've got this on 4K. Why wouldn't I? It's my favourite musical of all time. 
It's the musical that got me into musicals. So, of course, I had to get that on 4K. Then my Ghostbusters set. So I literally have all of them except for Ghostbusters 2 on 4K. So I have Ghostbusters Afterlife. The girl version of Ghostbusters, which I'm probably one of the only few that actually enjoyed this film in some way. Don't get me wrong, nothing can beat the original Ghostbusters, like Bill Murray, Harold Ramis, you know, Rick Moranis, Dan Aykroyd. Like, nothing can beat those guys. Speaking of which, Ghostbusters 1. So I just need to get Ghostbusters 2 with the slip, and then I have all of them. Then I got this in subscriber mail, and that is Frozen 2. So I just need to get Frozen 1 on 4K, and then I'll have both of those. To be honest, I prefer Frozen 2 over Frozen 1. Probably one of the only few, but still. <laughs> uh, Free Guy, this is one of my favourite films from 2021? Yeah, 2021. When 2022 was it? Yep, 2021. I had to look for the date. <laughs> I really enjoyed this film. If you're a gamer, if you love Ryan Reynolds, this is one I'd recommend. Encanto. I really enjoyed this film. This was such a fun film. I do need to watch this on 4K. Um, and I will be doing a review series of all of the Disney classics. So all 61 films before I go on holiday. So keep an eye out for that because I'm going to get myself hyped for this holiday. <laughs> uh, but yes, Encanto. Absolutely amazing, heartwarming, enjoyable film. Seriously, watch it. We don't talk about boo, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, then, of course, I picked up Elvis on 4K. I really enjoyed this film. And this is coming from a person that doesn't mind Elvis. I'm not, like, massively fan of his. I do listen to his music and I do enjoy him. Blue Suede Shoes, Jailhouse Rock, things like that. But this film, oh, my God. I really, really enjoyed this film. Okay, we are getting there, people. We are almost done. Uh, so I've got some Spider-Man films here. There's one other one. It's in this shelf here, so I'll show that in a bit. Uh, but that is the Spider-Man trilogy from Tom Holland. So it's Spider-Man No Way Home. Really annoyed that this does not come with a slip because the other two have slips. I will get the slip for this eventually. I'm not sure when. Um, but then, of course, I have Spider-Man Far From Home and Spider-Man Homecoming. I really enjoy these films. These are such fun films, and especially No Way Home. Oh my god, I loved No Way Home. <laughs> uh, then I have Speed. I have yet to see Speed 2, but I think I'm putting it off because <laughs> I've heard a lot of bad things about it. So, uh, But no, I really enjoyed this film. This surprised me when I watched it because I just randomly put it on one day and I fell in love with it. <laughs> uh, the next two I have are Space Jam and Space Jam A New Legacy. And you know what? I enjoyed both films. This one is the better one. But I did enjoy this film as well. Then, of course, I do have the Sonic films. Yet again, Sonic, the first one didn't come with a slip. So I pinched my Blu-ray one when I upgraded. So there we go. And then, of course, Sonic 2. Now, this was the HMV exclusive slipcover. I had to get the exclusive one. It was a really cool slipcover. I can't help it. The addiction is real. Uh, then this one I picked up because it was nine ninety nine with any purchase. It's a classic, and I still haven't watched it yet. The Shawshank Redemption. Yes, I have still not seen this film. It has been on my watch list for absolutely ages. But I, I will get there eventually. I will watch it. Do not worry. Then I have Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. That's a long title. <laughs> um, this one actually surprised me as well. I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy it, but I do actually quite enjoy it. The fight scenes in this are fun as hell. Then, of course, we come to my Scream sets. So, of course, I have Scream 1, a Scream 2, and a Scream 5. Of course, I will be picking up Scream 6 with the 4K slipcover because this just looks amazing matching. And I really hope that we get Scream 3 and 4 and 4K as well, because otherwise that'll just seem a bit weird. Scream 3, I reckon we will definitely get, but Scream 4, I'm not sure on. I'm really not sure on. Um, but yeah, I have I will be collecting Scream 6 with the slipcover. Then I have Robin Hood. I actually remember going to see this film in Norwich, and it was just a random film I wanted to go see. I went, sod it. I'm in Norwich on my own. What shall I go see? Pick this because I'm a fan of Robin Hood and the story. 
Really enjoyed this film. Raya and the Last Dragon. I need to give this a rewatch because I remember kind of enjoying this. But then at the time, I think I just picked up the 4K because it just looked really cool. Um, so I do need to give this a rewatch and see if my feelings have changed. Then, of course, I have the Mummy Trilogy on 4K. This is one of my favourite trilogies of all time. So this is, of course, the Mummy. Mummy Returns. And Mummy Tomb the Drunken Emperor. I love these films. I am obsessed with them. And Brendan Fraser, just honestly. He said he's down to do a Mummy 4. If they do a Mummy 4, I want Rachel Wise to come back. She needs to come back. She's my Evie. New actress, she did fine. But she will never beat Rachel Wise. <laughs> Uh, the next two I have, I need to get the other two at some point, and that is the Men in Black film. So I have Men in Black 1 and Men in Black 2. I do, Like I said, I need to get Men in Black 3 and International in 4K, then I have the full set. Then back to Disney again, and I have the Lion King. This is the original animated one. Really enjoyable film, such a sad but enjoyable film. And the soundtrack, Kuna Matata, I live by it. <laughs> Uh, next one is Lightyear, Pixar's most recent... Is it most recent, Pixar? Yeah, it is. Lightyear is the, the recent one. I had to think then. <laughs> um, but yeah, I enjoyed this film. Um, the ending still confuses me a little bit, but we'll go with it. Last Action Hero. Really wish this come with a slip, but it's fine. <laughs> Uh, but no, I enjoyed this film growing up. This was one of my guilty pleasure Arnie films because I know, I don't think many people enjoyed this film. Let me know if you enjoyed this film growing up. Um, I know I did. Um, but that's one I had to add. And then finishing off that row, Jungle Cruise. Yes. So Jungle Cruise, I got to see this in the cinema and I actually quite enjoyed this. This did give me parts of the Caribbean vibes, but I suppose that would be with any Disney ride, I suppose. I'm so looking forward to my Disney trip. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so carrying on, let's get on to the final row. Okay, so on to the final row. So this is a mix of my Pixar collectible slipcovers and then just some random films. So starting off with this big box set, I saw this in my local CEX, as you can see. <laughs> um, and I thought, why not pick it up? Because I thought it, it was more expensive online than it was in CEX. Um, so this box set includes The Revenant, which is a film I still haven't seen. Life of Pi, still haven't seen. Independence Day, still haven't seen. Mm. Exodus, King, oh, Gods and Kings. Haven't seen this one either. I know, I know. <laughs> Kingsman, The Secret Service. I have seen this one. Enjoyed the Kingman series. I need to watch The King's Man, that the prequel, is it a prequel? Yeah, the prequel to the franchise, and then The Maze Runner. So I will be getting the other films as well from The Maze Runner franchise. I think it's just Scorch Trials and Death Cure. So I will get those along with the rest of The King's Man films. Then I'll go through my Pixar slipcovers. So a couple of these are in random order, but I will sort them out eventually. So I have The Incredible 2. Thing then. So I have Incredibles 2, Finding Dory, Monsters University, so you can see it's the collectible slipcover things. It just looks good when it's a collectible slipcover thing and you've got them all, it just feels good. <laughs> Wally! <laughs> I had to do the voice, I don't know why. Monsters Inc. Inside Out. The Incredibles, Finding Nemo, and A Bug's Life. So I've got these all from Zabby. They all come with slipcovers. The only time I've been buying these ones is when they've done the 3 for 30 deal at the moment. So hence why I've got a whole bunch of sequels that are together and things like that. But for now, it's, it's a nice little set of films and I will be collecting the rest as I go at some point. It's just a question of when. And I don't know why I'm going to put that back because I'm keeping these all together. And then to finish it off. So, Zombieland 1 and 2. Absolutely love these films and they both come with slips. 
I have an addiction that is real. <laughs> Uh, then I have Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Of course, when this got released on 4K, I had to pick it up. The Wizard of Oz. Absolute musical classic. And I... This is... Yeah. If I only had a brain, it's the song that lives in my head. <laughs> then I have Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I picked this up because I was going to do original versus... No, I think I did it, actually. I can't remember, but did pick this up because I thought, you know what, I reckon this will look quite good in 4K. Then I have Venom and Venom Let There Be Carnage. I enjoyed both films. I had a good time with both, not gonna lie. <laughs> then I have Turning Red. Highway to the Danger Zone. Of course, when Top Gun Maverick come out, I had to get the double pack on 4K. Just look how cool this slipcover is. It is absolutely amazing. So, yeah, so this is Top Gun and Top Gun Maverick. I'm quite surprised at how much I enjoyed these films. This surprised me. <laughs> then I have The Suicide Squad. This is the one with Idris Elba in it. Um, I still need to get the other one, the one with Will Smith in it. I do have it on Blu-ray. I just haven't upgraded it to 4K yet. Um, but, yeah, this was a really enjoyable film. And I look forward to giving this a watch on 4K. Then I have Split, I just need to get Glass and Unbreakable, then I've got all of them. This film creeped me out. I never thought James McAvoy would creep me out, but he did. He did a very good job. <laughs> and then finishing it off with the last Spider-Man film, and that is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So this is the last film in my 4K collection to show you. I've shown everything else. Wow. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this 4K collection video. If you did, then do give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell down below to be notified when I post. And let me know in the comments down below, is there any 4Ks you recommend that I should add to my collection? Or is there any that you'd like to see me review on the channel very soon? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys next time.